Hey guys, how are you? Today is Monday, June, whatever it is, I don't know. I'm day six post-op. I didn't do a video yesterday. Um, my hair is dripping a little bit. I just didn't feel very good yesterday. I felt really low energy and I don't know if it had anything to do with the surgery or so Tony and Mike we were all going to meet some friends over at the M Casino for the seafood brunch or buffet, but I opted not to go. I just didn't feel that good. I didn't feel like spending a lot of money on food I wasn't going to eat, so I didn't go. But when I did my nails, I did these yesterday. No, I did them two days ago on Saturday. So these are the Kiss Nails. Surprisingly, Mike liked them. I didn't think he would. I thought he'd hate them. Uh, so, I do have a hematoma, large hematoma right here. I don't know, I texted Larita and let her know because I'm scheduled tomorrow afternoon to get my sutures out. And then um, I let her know, I sent her a picture telling her I had this large hematoma here, which is a collection of blood. Uh, could be um, liquid blood, could be clotted or a combination. So I don't know if they're going to try to remove that. I hope so. But other than that, my neck is definitely looking better. Uh, incisions are better. Um, swelling in my face. It's still very tight and numb in here. My earlobe, my poor earlobe. And it's still very tight over here. But what's interesting is I bruised so much on this side of my neck. I'm trying to so much on this side of my neck but in my chest it went down on the opposite side which I thought was kind of curious so still using the Arnicare the Arnica gel and my antibiotic ointment I'm going to put a little bit of um, IT Cosmetics um, powder foundation CC foundation over some of this maybe some of the liquid here if I can um, I want to go out to 99 cent only, maybe to Dollar Tree. I'm just going stir crazy being here at home. It's really nice that I've been able to just be here at home, and Mike and Tony have been wonderful. Um, but I have to get out for a little bit. So I'm going to go stock up on my produce. I have been eating um, more fruit and um, salads just because I figured the fresh fruit probably has a lot of things that are good for my body and I've been eating watermelon and hoping that that will help with the uh, reduction of fluid so okay guys well day six and I think I'm going to consolidate these videos more and not have load them up every day or twice a day I'm just going to consolidate them so day six and tomorrow will be day seven and suture removal love you bye hey guys it is still Wednesday no Monday <laughs> yeah okay and I put my makeup on it's the first time I've had my hair on I did wash it um, a couple days ago to make sure it would be clean when I put it on so you can't see my sutures here but I do what I did I have to wet this down a little bit but I used my it cosmetics celebration foundation and I put it all over I even put it down into my neck and my chest a little bit. So as you can see, I'm still really swollen. And then this has to be addressed, that big hematoma. So hopefully he's gonna drain that and not tell me I have to wait for it to go away. But whoop, and it's tricky brushing the hair with the sutures along my ears, so I have to fix that. But, I don't know. How does it look? Does it look okay? Do I look like a cadaver? Like a drag queen? Nothing against drag queens, but you know, your makeup isn't the most natural. And I didn't do any eyeliner because that's kind of tough to take off. So I just have this on, a little blush, um, some eyeshadow, my brow pencil, and some mascara. And then my... my... hard candy velvet mousse lipstick and cherry blossom so I'm just gonna head out to Dollar Tree and 99 cent only store and 
come back and one of Mike's friends or acquaintances they used to work together um she's in town and so tomorrow I get my sutures out hopefully get this drained then Wednesday we're going to try to get together with her and her husband and then Thursday Mike has his follow-up appointment with the urologist the surgeon so all right guys well thanks so much for watching and following the progress and would I recommend this yes if you're interested um I found a uh a message board I guess yesterday people had had facelifts and um, how disappointed they were and the problems that they were having and actually it really reassured me that um, I'm on the right track um, some were really mad that the plastic surgeons say in two weeks you know you should be looking good and wear some makeup and um, and some people say it takes months and I was watching Real Housewives of Orange County yesterday kind of the overview of the last few seasons maybe and when Vicki had her face lift and she said it took her she had it done in between uh, season seven and eight and she thought she'd be healed but she said it took a good year for her face to really look good and normal again so and I'm fine with that believe me I'm fine with that so all right guys oh and then this one is a brand new one I broke it out of the box today um, in one of the QVC kits they you got two of them so brand new clean sponge everything is clean so all right guys see you later bye hey guys today is Wednesday no Tuesday the 28th I think something like that anyway I'm a week post up for my facelift um, I went in yesterday and Dr. Mitchell drained eight cc's of fluid out of this hematoma it's filling up again, so I'm going to be seeing him every day for a while. Unfortunately, hematomas are the most common complication in facelifts, especially for women. Um, but this side of my face is doing better. I'm really sore in here today for some reason. Could be because he, well, on this side, he poked in here like four or five times with a needle trying to aspirate. He thought I may have a hematoma. In here but I told him I didn't think so I mean it feels like a bruise and it's flat there are no pockets of fluid um, so he tried but he didn't get anything and I don't know how long this is going to drain for um, but I'm going to go back daily he's going to remove some of my sutures he said not the ones behind my ears yet he doesn't do that for 10 days I'm like dang those are the ones that are most annoying if you've ever had a shirt or pants or something where the tag is sewn in with that nylon thread and it keeps poking you that's what it's like back here so um making progress he was disappointed about this as was I but you know it goes with the territory and I'm really excited um really no pain um it's not a very painful procedure it's uncomfortable you have swelling you have tightness you have weird tingling sensations because of the nerves and but I mean I can do everything so my nerves are intact that feels weird there so you just never know and the swelling and tightness changes throughout the day I asked him about the fullness in my ears I feel like um, my ears are really full there's a lot of pressure there and the tinnitus in my left ear is worse and he said that's perfectly normal so anyway seven day update and I'm gonna get this drained again and he did put a little light very light pressure dressing on it but I had to take it off after a few hours because it was digging into the sutures here under my chin so hopefully I'll get these out I don't know so, all right, guys, I'll just talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye. Hey, guys, it is still day seven. And as you can see, <clears throat> my head is wrapped up because my hematoma down here, he drained it. There was another eight cc's of fluid in there. So he put a drain in, just a little drain and somewhat of a pressure dressing. 
and I go back tomorrow he's gonna check it again and hopefully I'll only need the drain for a couple of days and that should hopefully take care of it he said that my neck down here looked better than it did yesterday and I was having a hard time my neck felt really stiff this morning but now it doesn't so I don't know if that's a result of the drain or if it's just what it is oh and then they gave me some more arnica tablets to take so that's day seven update and I'll just see you all tomorrow thanks for watching guys bye